Hello everybody out there in YouTube land, this is Tyler. For all of those who have video requests, I'm asking every single person to be patient with me and I will get to them as soon as I can. But I want to sit here and I want to tell all of you people that I am going to do a video based on what has been on my mind and I believe that based on what is supposed to be said in this video, I believe that it is going to give you hopefully an inspiration to make and move and to give you the inspiration to take action in order so that you can change the situation if you are going through it. So I want to sit here and I just want to tell every single person that most of you people out there might be going through a situation where every time that you turn around it might be a group of people or a person might be draining you mentally and emotionally and the reason for the root cause of it that every time that you turn around that these type of people are negative the or that or that person is negative or that person is always petty or that group of people is always petty or that person and that or probably that group of people every time that you turn around that person is raising hell about something in the creating chaos around you and it causes you so that you don't even want to be around it and the negativity is so strong and the chaos is so strong whenever that you are around that group of people that might be your so-called friends or that person that might be your so-called friend Every time that you turn around that it seems like it is just major chaos. It seems like there is major pettiness. It seems like there is all the time complaining all the time and nonstop. Or it is just being negative about stupid stuff, not even being grateful at all. So due to all of this, it has caused a very deep tiredness up inside of you and you sit there have probably said to yourself you're just sick and tired of this shit and sometimes you get sick and tired of it you go and complain to other friends every time that you turn around concerning these so-called friends that you, which is in that group or it might be a person that you are around so a lot for a lot of you people might be going through this other possible situ situation that every time that you turn around it might be a group of people that might be your so-called friends or a person that might be your so-called friend that might be using you every single time that you turn around. And what do I mean by this? This person is calling you just for their own selfish purpose and whenever that is suitable for them. And these type of so-called group of people or that person, you don't even hear from them. Whenever that they need something from you or they need to use you for something, not even wanting to take the time to spend time with you at all, which you probably have thought that these people are your so-called friends, which you probably think that they are your true friends. But overall, they're just so-called friends, which you probably thought that they were your bros or your sister or your bro or your sis. So for a lot of you people that might be going through this other situation, which is every time that you turn around, when you are ex have had something exciting that has happened in your life, or you have achieved a goal or accomplished something, or you are achieving something every single time, that group of people or that person is not even excited or happy for you and what that group of people or that person probably responds back to you is that that ain't nothing or just bring you down at it whenever that you have achieved something or whenever that you have accomplished something or something good has happened in your life and th and that group of people or that person is just tearing you down and sometimes through their vibrations, you can just tell that that person or those group of people that you might think that is your so-called friend or your so-called friends ain't even happy for you at all. And it's caused you to be so frustrated and so upset at these people. And you probably have complained to other people about this type of situation that you are going through. That you are going through. Because you are tired of it. You are fed up with it. 
And also, this next situation that a lot of people might be going through is that you um, might be with a person, boyfriend, girlfriend, so-called friend, husband, wife, doesn't make no difference, or a friend, or a group of people, don't make no difference. But every time that you turn around, they are leaving you high and dry. No call, no show, promise that they were going to be there or that person was going to be there and meet their end of the bargain, but overall, that person did not, or that group of people did not do it. And it seems like it's a constant cycle that is going on in your life. And it's caused you to be so tired and to be so fed up due to those people, lack of commitment, or that person, lack of commitment, because they don't take the responsibility to tell you, okay, something has happened. Or, or something had came up way ahead of time or maybe at the last minute before. You or that person or you or that group of people are supposed to meet up with each other. This make no difference. And it's done caused you to be upset about this. But I want to sit here and I want to tell all of you people something that if you know for a fact that you have told these people your standards that you probably don't want no negativity, you don't want no chaos, you don't want no drama and done had to talk to them about this, or you have told a person that you don't put up with being around uncommitted people, or you have told that person I cannot constantly be around your acting like you're not happy for me or for you I'm sorry or that person every time that you turn around that person cannot be there for you and what do I mean by this that person is all is not using you. And you told this person, you can't be constantly using me like this. If that person changes, that is fine. But if that person or that group of people don't change, then in other words, that's your time to draw the line and cut those type of people off without explanation. And you know the reason why is simply because you are getting too old to explain to people what they're doing wrong and they know what they're doing wrong. And you know the reason why that they don't want to change from their ways from doing wrong is simply because there's a conviction up inside of them, but their pride is refusing it to allow them to acknowledge it. That's what the main problem is. And you're going to have to start learning how to cut these type of different type of people off and draw the line with them without explanation because the best method is whenever it comes to a person, when it comes to a person constantly doing these no good things to you and that person know that they're doing wrong, the, the best thing is to cut them off without warning because that's what, what will hit their consciousness. Because if you want true changes up in your life and these people that you are around, you feel like they're a hindrance to you, you're going to have to cut them off and let these people learn the hard way or that person learn the hard way. That's what you're going to have to start learning how to do. And for all of you people 
that's sitting there complaining about these certain type of situations that are happening to you and you're sitting there allowing it just because you so-called love that person or that person you so-called think that's your bro or your best friend or whatever, you are going to have to learn how to cut those people off without warning and let them learn the hard way. Because for those type of people, the hard way is going to be the best way for them. Because those type of people ain't going to know what, ha what they have. Because it's best for you. Because it, when you cut those type of people off, it's simply because it will give you inward peace. It will give you inward rest. And you will not have a stress on you. And you will not have a burden on you. But some of you people, you need to stop hanging on to those type of people from what I mentioned in those situations previously. That's what you're going to have to start learning how to do. If they can't draw the line and start, and, and start changing, then in other words, you are going to have to change the type of people that you be around or the person that you be around. Because those type of people refuse to change. Cut them off without warning. Whenever that you have a standard, and you stand strongly on your standard. And I will tell all of you people, and I'm going to close, stand strong on your standard whenever you tell people something and that you mean it. If they violate it, then you don't have to go and tell that person that they cut off, cut them off without warning. Because I'm going to sit here and I'm going to tell you something. You cut a person off without warning or whatever and everything and bring it up in their face, I guarantee you, when you start bringing up the shit up in their face, what they're doing, the only thing that they're going to do is get into their feelings and get real mad and upset because they're being exposed about themselves and the truth is being exposed about themselves. And they can't take it. But I'm going to go on ahead and cut this video short. I hope a lot of you people start taking action so that you can have an inward peace and change the group of people or the, or the person that you are around. And for all of those who liked and enjoyed this video, I give the invitation to please subscribe to this channel because you'll receive weekly content on a weekly basis. Thank you and have a great and awesome day or evening, people.